is present uh, present is uh, mr c d yatavath he is going to present uh, the paper on the impact of cost related marketing crm on brand awareness special reference to kargil's agriculture and commercial bank private limited in sri lanka over to you um so good evening everyone um honorable chairperson sir um uh, today in this evening uh, i'm here to present my analysis done on the impact of uh, cost related marketing on the brand awareness uh, with special reference being given to the kargil's agriculture and commercial bank uh, so say the ones who are saying uh, they are who are idealizing themselves as the bankers who are banking on the human spirit uh, well moving on to the introduction of course a corporation's responsible actions can take three different levels which is at the basic level of, a, of an o inauguration of an organization uh, the responsible corporate citizenship is about can championing a social cause or the act of social giving and when moving on to the next level through cost related marketing where a company is established now the company has to move on themselves and uh, try to face the competition where the uh, theories such as and concepts such as cost related marketing uh, would uh, tries to emphasize on giving back to the society and on the process builds its reputation or increasing its brand awareness and on the third level of course moving on to uh, strategic corporate uh, social responsibility activities the company then uh, once its uh, corporate sustainability is ensured uh, will move on to uh, sustain be sustainable in the banking business and of course to improve its competitiveness in the market so kargil's food city private limited has implemented a unique process of cost related marketing by procuring foods such as milk vegetables and uh, fruits straight from the farmer thus carrying the vertical integration into different heights So Kargil Agriculture and Commercial Bank is the latest addition to the Kargil group of companies. So I intend to find out whether there's an impact made by cost related marketing on brand awareness of an organization. So Kargil's bank now uh, since the inception uh, it needs to successfully establish itself in the minds of the target clientele and also to successfully survive and operate Uh, sustainable sustainably amongst the heavy competition faced by a very strong set of uh, local competitors and of course this research intends to study the possibilities of improving the brand awareness of the emerging subsidiary um so the, uh, i intend to examine the concept of cost related marketing and uh, i intend to examine the cost related uh, con concept of brand awareness and i wanted to examine whether there's a relationship between these two variables um at the basic level this study will enable us to uh, find get a basic understanding of these concepts and of course this study will also provide an understanding on how to apply practically these concepts uh, to implement uh, in a in a corporate nature uh, to face a heavy competition for a emerging uh, entity such as kargil's uh, agriculture and commercial bank um so in moving on uh, let us see what cost related marketing is the it is it could be defined as the public association of a profit oriented company with a non profit organization or cause intent to promote the company's products or services to raise money for the non profit and of course brand awareness is the first dimension according to rossita and percy uh, it is considered to be the first dimension distinguishing the brand knowledge which could uh, reflected by the consumer's ability to identify the brand under different conditions so whether there's an relationship between cost related marketing and brand awareness could be impact examined by uh, uh, developing a cost related marketing program which could uh, awareness increase the awareness brand awareness via recall and recognition enhancing the brand image in terms of brand attributes such as use imagery where there are kindness and generosity brand personalities like sincerity and evoke, evoke brand feelings and of course through celebrity judgments by involving celebrities into these corporate so cost related marketing activities uh, the people could uh, develop the trustworthiness and likability towards these kind of uh, brands and of course more importantly cost e create experience it creates experience by involving people into cost related marketing activity activities where it will enhance the living standards of the community so my methodology consists of the conceptual framework as follows the independent variable is cost related marketing and the dependent variable is brand awareness and of course i have gone to the philosophy of positivism and deductive approach has been taken where the existing theories have been examined and i have taken the survey method and of course the mixed method where quantitative and qualitative data both uh, both natures of data has been analyzed and of course the time horizon being cross sectional moving on uh, this is my operationalization table 
And of course, the data collection, I, my sample consisted of 60 correspondents. Uh, five out of them were management, representing the management of the bank. And 10 were representing um, the uh, middle level, executive uh, level of the bank. And of course, the rest of the 45 were uh, bankers, uh, rather the uh, customers of the bank. So it should be noted that the respondents of the questionnaire from the bank, the officials, were asked to assume themselves as the customers. This was to uh, get their perspective on the importance of improving the brand awareness on, um, by initiating such initiatives such as cost-related marketing activities. Uh, the demographic analysis indicated that out of the 75, out of, uh, out of the uh, 60 uh, uh, the sample, 75% of the uh, sample consist uh, be, were between the age range of 18 to 45. And of course, moving on, uh, the data analysis, the Conbrac alpha levels were uh, well above 0.7 and uh, bo for both variables, cost-related marketing and brand awareness. And of course, moving on to the uh, correlations, the uh, two uh, variables were positively correlated uh, with each other with more than 0.5% uh, correlation. And of course, the significance for two-tailed significance was zero, whereas it should be ideally uh, be, be below 0 0.005. And of course, 55.2% uh, of the uh, of of course, uh, it was said that 55.2% of the variance of brand awareness could be impacted by course-related marketing activities. And moving on to the coefficients, of course, the two-tailed significance again was zero, and the beta value was more than 0.5. So uh, when I moved on to the in, uh, qualitative analysis, which I did, uh, the interviews, um, I have taken a, a sample, uh, sample respondent uh, who is representing the majority of the responses. He said that the reason I selected this bank was due to the attractiveness of the savings products that, and the, uh, the products that they are promoting through the advertising. However, the public awareness of the appreciation for these kind of initiatives, that is like the course related marketing initiatives, would depend largely on the education levels of the target clientele. And of course, I would generally have a better regard for a brand or a corporate which engages in such initiatives and would try to appreciate their efforts by purchasing such products. And of course, moving on to the female correspondents, uh, what she said is that I do try to purchase products which are produced in an ethical background and do appreciate the brands which act in a social responsible manner. And of course, I would tend to recommend the bank to others apart from the fact that they have better offerings of products than others. Uh, out of the liking and admiration that would be developed due to their contribution to the society through initiatives such as corporate uh, cost related marketing rather. So the demographic patterns identified the fact that more young population has been attracted, uh, has gone on to attraction uh, on these uh, products of the bank. Uh, that is because maybe the bank has attracted the, 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 uh, uh, the uh, young population are more of risk takers and the older the population, uh, older the sample gets, they were more uh, risk avert uh, sort of. The, so they wanted to stick with the corporate reputed uh, banks where, which have so, so strong brandings. And the female client had a sentimental attachment to the preference towards the business that would follow an ethical and socially responsible practices. Uh, moving on to my recommendations. So it is recommended for Cargill's Agriculture and Commercial Bank to design and implement a course related marketing campaign integrating the corporate group policy of supporting the farmers. We are at the current state, Cargill's Food City have uh, taken off, excluded all the intermediaries, and they have gone to the doorsteps of the farmers who are the key stakeholders of their business, and they have uh, started procuring all the food items from them. So in that case, the food city could uh, pay a better price to the farmers, and uh, of course, they could in turn be benefited by getting better quality products as well. And of course, the bank, how the bank would, uh, how the bank would get this incorporated into uh, their strategy, uh, their strategy of improving their sustainability is that the bank would vertically integrate the business process and promote its products such as loan schemes, saving accounts, fixed deposit schemes to these key stakeholders of the Kagi supermarket business, which would enable the bank to successfully approach a wider clientele. So in that case, they could enhance their clientele as well. And of course, the bank would then establish its presence strongly across the country through the Kage supermarket chain, creating a mutually beneficial and a socially responsible conduct uh, of business, which should in turn result in increase of brand awareness uh, as per their uh, branding the brankers with human spirit. So, and of course, eventually the bank loyalty will be increased as well as, as well as the creation of goodwill towards the bank within the society and the governing authorities. So with that, I would like to wind up my presentation. Thank you. Thank you. Uh Again, uh, 